In this video, I'm going to go over the sample section and the advanced page of Revolution Create 2.0. So much like the simple page, it has all those same functions, uh, just a few more. So you have the sample layer browser, which this will feature all of the sources that you can choose from to reverse. You have the playback mode. You have the default key switch and the default key switch enable disable. You can choose the speed of the playback. By default, it's always set here. You have the sample start, the fixed pitch, and the sample end. Then you have the release start. You can specify the release offset, the crossfade, the curve of the crossfade, the fade in, the curve of the fade in, the fade out, and the curve of the fade out. Then you have loop options. You can choose for it not to loop, or if you want it to loop, you have different options there. And then when you do choose for it to loop, you've got loop start, loop end, crossfade of those, the curve of the crossfade, and the tuning. To briefly go over some of the key switches, so I'll go over the first layer, um, key switches right now. The A minus 1 is going to be your whole note. The B flat minus 1 are going to be your half notes. And then the B minus 1 are your quarter notes. Now if you don't have an 88 key keyboard, it gets a little frustrating to constantly have to hit the transpose button to access the key switches. So what we've done is we've also placed them over here on the trigger pads. Now you can click them to change the key switches or if you have pads on your MIDI controller, you can just use those. So the first layer's key switches are located on the left of the keyboard and the second layer will be on the right. So that wraps up the sample engine in the advanced page of Revolution Create 2.0.